just for all of your encouragement uh carol from juja saying franklin's story is so encouraging um someone here says i'm a mother of I'm a 24 year old and a mother of one and five months pregnant and I found out my status last week when I went for uh, my clinic. Right now I'm so confused but at least I know it's not a death sentence but I hope to wake up from the denial. Thank you. Thank you very much to Franklin as well for sharing uh, his story and his testimony with us here this morning. What a, a guy really and um, as I promised though last week as we switch gears now I did promise you that every Monday we're going to be bringing you um, in partnership with the Nafunze e-learning platform some studies and lessons for your children to take part in from home and today we're going to be talking about grade one mathematics and uh, we have teacher Anne Bevy already here in studio Karibu sana to the show how are you I'm fine thank you good good I see you already yes Mathematics it is, right? Yes, good Hiya, Sawa. Take mm. it away. Hello, viewers. Welcome to Nifunze Online Academy. My name is Teacher Anne from CTAM Schools. Ready and happy to take you through a learning experience in mathematics activities grade one. Today, our strand is numbers and our substrand will be addition. But before I continue, I want to introduce a learning point. Our learners, by the end of the learning experience, they'll be able to add three single digit numbers using a number line. For us to be able to add three single digit numbers, we are supposed to use the sign plus. The sign plus means to put together. After putting together, there's another sign. We'll be using the sign equal. This sign, it means our answer will be written after the sign. Now the equal sign. On the chart there, at the farthest, I have set example. But before we go there, I want also to say we'll be using locally available materials. With me here, I came with some counters. They are simply sticks. And you can as well use colored pencils. Others can use stones, marbles, straws, name them. Let us see. What does it mean to add using a number line? There are some simple rules to be followed. For us to be able to add using a number line, rule number one. You are supposed to draw a number line. Now viewers, let us draw the number line. A number line is just a straight line with some arrows at the end and on the line we are supposed to mark numbers 0 to 10. Let us mark 0 to 10. Well done. I believe by viewers have seen what we are calling a number line. After drawing our number line, the next step we are supposed to mark. You will mark according to the sum given. Like the sum of the day is 3 plus 1 plus 5. Now on my number line, I will mark number Three. I'll mark number three. Here, I'll mark number three. Are we there, viewers? Thank you. Yes, we have marked number three. And we are saying three plus one plus five. While at number three, we are going to move one step to the 
right. Let us move one step to the right. Let us move one. Are we there viewers? Well done. We have marked number three. Then we have moved one step to the right. Still, we are going to move five more steps to the right. Now viewers, we are at number four. Remember we marked number three and we moved one step to mean three plus one. Let us move five steps from number four together. One, two, three, four, five. Now, learners or my viewers, you will realize that we have stopped at a given number. We have stopped at number. We have stopped at number nine, meaning three plus one plus five equals to nine. Now, viewers, I want us to do it another way. Remember, I said by the end of our learning, the learner will be able to add three single digits numbers using a number line. Let us prove what we have written. I said I have some counters with me. Here, let us pick the first three counters, meaning we are at number three. One, two, and three. Three represents three, number three. Three plus one. I'm going to pick one more stick, meaning I'm moving one more step to the right. One. Again, I will pick five more sticks, meaning I'm moving five more steps to my right. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done, viewers. I believe you are watching. Now, let us put together. Remember when I began the lesson, I said we'll be using the sign plus meaning put together and the sign equal. Let us now find out. Let us count all the sticks together, meaning to put together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, meaning three plus one plus five equals to nine. Remember, our answer is always written after the equal sign. We are saying three plus one plus five equals to nine. Still, my viewers, you can still go ahead and say three is in my head. Three is in my head. One finger out. Three, four. Three is in my head one finger out three four four is in my head five fingers out four five six seven eight and nine well done my viewers meaning you can use your locally available materials or you can still use your fingers to add using a number line. And you still get the same answer. Now my viewers and my learners, let us go through what we've said. We have said today we were learning about addition of three single digit number using a number line. And we said we'll be using the sign plus 
meaning to put together and the equal sign remember the answer is always written after the equal sign therefore we have looked at this example and the sum is 3 plus 1 plus 5 and our working is down here we are saying we have some rules very few and simple rules to be followed rule number one you draw a number line and this is what we are calling a number line on the number line you mark numbers 0 to 10 after marking numbers 0 to 10 guided by the sum of the day you are supposed to mark like the sum is 3 and then you move one step to the right one meaning we have stopped at number four while you are still at number four or while you have just moved one step to the right after number three you move five more steps one two three four five remember we have stopped at number nine now we have still said you can still use your fingers and say three is in my head one finger out three four four is in my head five fingers out four five six seven eight and nine see now using a variety of materials you can still arrive to your answer remember to write your answer after the equal sign that was it for today my dear viewers and learners if there are any questions you can visit us or log in in log in www.co.ww sorry www.nifunze.co.ke or still you can call this number <laughs> 0722 917884 Right. That was it for today. My <laughs> name is Teacher Anne from Sitam <laughs> Schools. Thank you. Wow, Teacher Anne. Bye. Very well done. <laughs> well done, Teacher Anne. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming onto the show. And uh, you're really great at this, I have to say. <laughs> Teaching kids and doing it through the cameras. Fantastic work you're doing there. Carol from <coughs> Juja just says, uh, Full Circle is really growing into heights. My cousin is really enjoying the lear learning lesson from Teacher Anne. <laughs> and you say kudos to the show uh, that it's a God sent program. Asante Sana. So usually you teach mathematics. No, all the subjects. All the subjects. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we hope to see her again as well as other teachers here on the show. Remember, every Monday we'll be bringing you this learning platform so that uh, your kids also can benefit from Full Circle with Joyce even as this whole COVID situation continues. Tomorrow on the show, of course, we'll be bringing you relationships. We also have Dennis's journey. So be sure to join me bright and early then. But until that time, God bless you. Have yourselves a wonderful afternoon. Thank you again to all of my guests. We'll see See you soon. Ciao.